Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Okay, we've got new Japanese heavies. We have new tech tree, and I'm going to look at this tank, the Type 68, because, well, why not? I mean, every man and his dog on YouTube is going to tell you the Type 71. But before I get into that, excuse the, the noise from the, uh, the garage. They do this every time war gaming, and it's like really annoying. I mean, for summer, for, for spring season, we have a dog barking. They got rid of that, and for the birthday, well, we've got this sort of area over here, sort of going down, and it's <laughs> it's annoying. But anyway, this is the Type sixty eight. It's the Tier nine Japanese heavy, and I like this tank. I I, I have to admit. I think it's a funky tank, and we're going to get into some of its bits and bobs in a moment. Problem is, one of the things is, it, it's not on Blitz Stars in the tank compare, so I can't really show you the comparisons between this tank and that tank. But oh, we'll do our best to have a look at it. I mean, I, I think it looks a nice tank. It's 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 a funky tank. It's it's got a good look to it. Excuse the camo, but uh, I'm having fun with doing silly camo things at the moment. Um, but I like the tank. I think it's nice and we'll show a couple of games in it and what we'll do we'll go through the equipment etc etc and we'll have a chat about that and we'll have an overview so that's what we're looking at the type 68 now before we get into the sort of bare bones of this tank there's a couple of things that we need to look at and one of these things is this new equipment specialization which is here now you've got two we have the improved vertical stabilizer, which basically gives you better gun elevation and depression. You can see here that with this equipment loaded, you get nine degrees of gun depression and 17 degrees of gun elevation, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. However, 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 you do sacrifice speed and mobility for having this on. And I'm gonna show you two games, one with speed and mobility, one without the speed and mobility. So getting additional gun depression is not a bad thing as we will see when we look at the armor profile of this tank. The other one is improved suspension and as you see here your mobility goes up quite significantly. Um, okay you only get three kilometers top speed but your terrain crossing capability increases quite a lot and your whole turn rate really does increase quite a lot. Now, it's up to you which one you want to toy around with, uh, to be honest with you. If you are a player who likes playing those ridges, likes going haul down, then obviously for you, you're going to want to be using more gun depression than is given. But if you're a player who likes his mobility and the ability to move your tank around the battlefield, you know, less restricted, then you are going to want the improved suspension. Let's have a look at this armor profile. Now, this is the tank in Armor Inspector, and it's facing off against an E75 with stand ammunition. And as you can see, frontally, the cheeks are quite open, and so is the bottom plate. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty easy to pen that. It's only 223 millimeters of armor. So you're going to get 100% if you're in an E75. And the hatches as well, you know, you're going to be able to pen those with your E75 also. Turret ring. Yeah, if I can get it, there you go. The turret ring also pretty easy to pen, and you can pen these if you're a really good shot. And of course, the bottom plate. So it's not exactly you know massively heavy armored, but you know frontally those spots that aren't open, they are pretty pretty hefty. Now the thing about this tank is, as I said, it comes with a standard six degrees, and it can increase. Now if you've got decent gun depression. Okay, then you're still going to be able to pen these 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 cheeks here, but it becomes a lot harder, and obviously you'll 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 hide the bottom plate. So it's not exactly bad armor. It's you've just got to be careful of those cheeks, and you know a lot of players are going to be wiggling this turret around to make sure that you know that happens. What about side scraping ability? Well, yeah, the hull will work, but it's that turret. That turret is pretty open, if you can see. I mean, you can you can side scrape in it quite nicely, but it's the turret that's the issue. So you have to be mindful of that. But let's forget that. Let's get into a game and let's see what it's actually like. Here we are on Middleburg, and we're bottom tiered, so it's a tier nine, tier ten game. 
And in this game, I actually don't have the gun depression equipment slot loaded, which is a shame because I really needed it. And I've got the, the mobility one. And as you can see, you know, you're going to have a decent turn of speed and decent mobility out of this thing. Now, I like this tank. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, but then again, I like tier 9, to be honest with you. It's one of the most balanced tiers. See, how did that pen? Well, that's what's called the new auto aim system. Although we are going to struggle with this system in a moment. So we're going to take this sort of line here. Now you get six degrees of gun depression. And as I said, apart from the side cheeks, frontally this thing is pretty nice. But those side cheeks are wide open. And you have to be very, very careful with that. The gun is very bouncy. But I found that with a lot of the Japanese tanks. Now, I could show you the lower tier tanks. The thing is, tiers 5, tier 6, and to an extent tier 7, I think they all struggle with their penetration values. When you get to the tier 8, the tier 9, and tier 10, that, those penetration issues sort of generally go away. And when the lower tier tanks, I was using a lot more premium ammunition than I was in the upper tier tanks. So the upper tier tanks are, are having more fun. Although I'm trying to pen that Type 71, it is a tier 10, and haul down, it is a bit of a beastie armor wise, and I just can't get the heat pen on it. And this is where this auto aim system really starts to let you down when you try to do those finesse shots, you're trying to hit those turret hatches, you're trying to get those, you know, tricky shots. It, it's not that simple. But we're not talking about the auto aim in this video, we're talking about the tank. And I think the tank is absolutely lovely. I, I like the tank. I think it's a great little addition to tier 9. And if you like your heavy, uh, me, it's, it's more of a heavy um than a heavy, so to speak. I mean, you got to think of that type of tank. You know, it's a conqueror type of tank. It's, uh, you know, it's the the E5 of tier 9 type of tank. It, it's not, you know, you're super duper heavy. It's a heavy um. And if you play it like a heavy um, then you're going to have fun with it. I know I did. I, I, I loved every minute of it. And you, you can't stick this thing on the front line. Not really. I mean, we're on the front line kind of here, but we are relatively protected. And one of the things that I find about this tank, is it's got a great gun. Okay, the gun is pretty accurate. Auto aim notwithstanding. The penetration is pretty nice. And the damage output is pretty decent as well. It's not, you know, shrinking violet. A lot of people said, oh, it's broken. It's not broken, guys. I, well, I don't think it is. But I, it's very rare for me to say that a tank is totally broken, to be honest with you. I think this one overall is balanced. It's it, it, it's a nice tank. And playing around with that equipment is going to sort of give you options, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. Doesn't make the tank OP and certainly doesn't make it broken. I mean, we've not set the world on fire here. I think we're going to end up with you know, shy of 2,000 damage. Which for me is fine. I mean, this was only the second game I had in the damn thing. And it's, as I said, it's a tier 9, tier 10 game. That's 1500, there we go. And, you know, we bounce 740 and we get a couple of kills. I'm happy with that game for the second game out. The tank itself, as I said, I mean, I, I absolutely like this tank. I think it's a great tank. I think it's a fantastic addition to tier 9. And if you're looking at this tank and you're thinking ah oh, sod it i'm just going to go to the type 70 wood i want to get to tier 10 because i'm so macho then you're doing yourself an injustice because sitting in this tank in this tier you're going to have a lot of fun guys here we are in yamato harbor this was the first game i played in this type 68 and this is when i sort of instantly liked it because you can get yourself into a decent position and you can really work the tank now look it's a game, okay? So a lot of it depends on a lot of things. One, if you have an obliging enemy, which we kind of have in this game, well then it's going to make the tank look better than what it is. Two, there's still a lot of controversy surrounding this auto-aim. You know, am I making these shots or is the system making the shots for me? I mean, I personally like to think that I'm aiming for those shots and I'm therefore making these shots, but who knows? You know, because there's a lot of controversy over this. Notwithstanding the auto aim, I'm liking the tank for what it is. I mean, it's a nice little heavy um, as I said. Stick it all down, okay, the turret cheeks are open, but if you stick it all down, you're going to have a fun time. The gun, as I say, is pretty accurate. The low time isn't that long. It's ten and a half seconds. I mean, that's for, for a heavy tank dishing out this much damage, that is not that bad. I mean... 
the iron and from this thing is pretty decent. Let's not kid ourselves. I mean, you're churning out over 450. And that's nice. I like that. And, yeah, yeah. is this water rain? I don't know. <laughs> and, you know, I, I, this time I'm playing it without the mobility equipment. I'm playing it with the, with the depression equipment because you don't know what map you're going to get. And it's really annoying. But, hey, these things do happen. And I'm liking it. You know, you can stick it in this position here. And you can have a good time. Again, is this me or is this your way? Don't know. <laughs> possibly, possibly not. Possibly, possibly not. Who knows? I don't. But I'm liking the tank. And I'm thinking it's a really lovely tank to play. And if you're just getting introduced to these upper tiers, then you could go far worse. It's a bit of a... Would I say it's a noob-friendly tank? Well, relatively so, to be honest with you. I mean, it it's, it doesn't require, you know, it's, it's a nice tank to roll out in. It is relatively friendly, I guess. But you've still got to play the tank for what it is. I mean, you can't just roll out and, you know, hope for the best. You've still got to use the tank for what it is. You've still got to make sure that you're using the strengths and the weaknesses of the tank. I personally enjoyed every moment I had in this tank. So, I thoroughly recommend it. I think it's a great tank. And it's a beautiful, beautiful tech tree tank, which is the main thing. Anyway, that has been the Type 68, the Tier 9 Japanese Heavy by Boom Fujit. By all means, comment and everything below. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know your views on this tank. Let me know. And until the next time, guys. I mean, look at that. We have a decent game. First game out, 2.6k damage. Kill two tanks, damage five, get a third class. I personally am happy with that. Now I know a lot of the other player base won't be happy with that. They want no 60%, they want big damage, but I'm happy with that. As I said, I've been Fujit, that's been the Type 68. I look forward to hearing oh, your views and your comments and your thoughts on this. So until the next time, guys, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy. <laughs>